Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. All right, let's go. Boom. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome back to the range. We're on the Hacienda here, which uh, this is uh, my personal range. And uh, I listen, believe it or not, this might be hard to believe, but I am a professional trigger puller. I'm a professional at shooting guns. Joining me, eh, I think he's also a professional trigger puller. There you go, Babyface P. Lola's over there. She's a professional trigger puller. Well, no, we're training Lola. Uh, Lola's, know, Lola's good. She's good. good. She's all right. So, listen, we're on the Hacienda. We're doing stuff. The Hacienda is going under a little bit of uh, reconstruction of the ranges and stuff of the uh, the berms that you guys could see out there, all of that. But that's got nothing to do with what we're going to talk about. Today, we're going to talk about bullpup shotgun. Bullpup 12 gauge, made in Turkey. Everybody and their mama is making one of these under, I think really it's the same gun, but it's got uh, different branding, different names on it. But you can make this, put this for all of them. All of the versions. <laughs> Today we're taking a look at one and I want to thank Brownells for uh, sending this out to us so we could take a look at it and They don't really care what we say, which is awesome. They provide us with stuff They let us do and say whatever we want to the particular one we're looking at is the Centurion from Century Arms So I guess that's where Centurion comes from BP 12. There you go. That's what it looks like. We have not shot this at all yet uh, Let me see what's on the side of the box here there you go, Centurion. <laughs> That's where blah, the reviews blah, blah. come in. That's what's on the side of the box in <laughs> Brownells. You can see it pop through the box. What do you think just yeah, from looking at it here, Patrick? So the rubber's already I, off. I don't think it looks bad. I think the price on sale is what I would pay, depending on if it works, if yeah. it runs. So here's the thing I want to say to folks about this before we even get into taking it out, putting some 12-gauge uh, through it. Um, on Brownells, this is about 500 bucks. Yeah. We've um, we've heard prices of the different versions of these, I think, um, as low as 300. Yep. So there you go. See, it says... Um, it's actually made by Ad Adler Arms is who makes yeah, it. Yeah, Adler Arms, made in Turkey. Uh, CAI is the importer, and then I guess whoever, in, yeah. whoever buys a bunch of them gets their name put on it. Right. <laughs> uh, this comes with some pop-ups. Yeah, it looks, looks like, like it. Uh, it well, that's a fold. Yeah, it's yeah, a folding sight. You fold it up and down. Um, comes with one magazine, it looks five like. Five round mag. Yep, yep. And, uh, and we'll uh, get into that in a second here. Set of chokes. Some chokes, that's cool. I'm guessing the, I don't know which one is in it right now, Let's probably. See. Yeah, it looks like it, yeah, obviously it does take chokes. And yeah, so keys and chokes. There are only about three or four different main types of choke. Yeah. I don't know which one it is, but uh, figure out, we can figure out which type of choke it is and Hank okay. will annotate that at the bottom when I figure it out. Right. <laughs> uh, and yeah. you can obviously get more chokes or put something like a suppressor on it. If yeah, you have what's the right this thing? thing? I'm guessing that's for gas regulation. I don't know for sure. Okay. I'm guessing we'll it is it a gas thing, but again, yeah. don't know. There's some instructions in there. But, but you know how we do. I'm not reading that. You don't really that. look at the instructions unless we get that. in trouble. Um, <laughs> so let's say, let's take it out of there. Let's take it out and just, what do you think about the, it's uh, it's partly polymer and part, yeah. No, Plastic lower, yeah. Uh, metal where it needs to be, 18 and a half inch barrel, I guess. How do you think it looks? It looks cool. Yeah, it looks yeah, fine. I don't, I don't think it looks bad, you know? Oh, this doesn't actually, it, this is just a cover. Oh, oh okay. So this rubber right. piece is just yeah, to keep from getting messed up. Handle. That's the charging handle. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So there you yeah. go. There's um, your. Got a flag in it. There's your chamber. A little dirty, but mm -hmm. uh, looks fine. Yep. So. BP-12. We'll see what happens. If they would have put an F in the middle of that. Yeah, <laughs> could be mine. For you. I could buy so a whole bunch take, of them and sell them for let's myself. Take the tag off. Okay, and we have 12 gauge here. We do. So we'll we have a couple different gauge. types. We have. We uh, have some cheapo stuff here. Cheapo low brass. Yep. There you go. Cheapo birdshot low brass, and then we had a couple boxes of cheapo birdshot high brass. Yeah. So a little more powerful. Yeah. We'll just try what we have here and see what mm -hmm. happens. 
Um, I guess you can still get 12 gauge. At, I think it's still common. Yeah, that's it's, not a thing. It, you know, right? I don't know if the ammo shortage has hit 12 gauge. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. You guys let us know. We've had this around here for a while, free <laughs> Armageddon ammo status. So we to try cheap or good? Uh, let's try cheap stuff first. See what happens. That's expect, really the big thing I always want to see. This is the cheap stuff right here. Expect the unexpected. Huh? <laughs> expect the unexpected. Yeah. Because <laughs> it we'll may not work for the crap. Oh, this is very... There's a lot of there lube on there. Yeah, it's very greasy. Yeah. Uh, the magazine, uh, this is chambered for two and three quarter or three inch shells. So should be good. So these are two and three quarters, which is why there's a gap you can see. Uh, but it does also work with three inch magnums. Um, Five rounds yeah. is it, by the way. Should be a five. five? Round okay, I think I'm at. I think I was at four. No, no that's five. Fine. I think that's five. Okay, let's try this. Come on, Buck. I'm gonna put you in the car. So you don't know. <clears throat> Whoa, stay. What do you think of it? I also think it looks good. Yeah. It's not super heavy. Obviously, it's it's like front heavy here with the barrel. But um, I guess yeah, I don't think it looks bad at all. No, it's it's no. fine. I um, have a sneaking suspicion. Mm -hmm. Um, that the mechanism, the actual action on these shotguns across all of them mm -hmm. are pretty much the same. Sneaking suspicion that even, I mean, obviously the same bullpup is all the same, but they also make one that looks kind of like an AR. Yeah. I have a suspicion that it's all the same action with different dressings. Yeah. It. That's yeah. my guess. This is the only thing I worry about. Yes. Magazine fed. Can you so. get can you get more <laughs> mags and can they get bigger mags? Yeah, yeah. I want but, a drum. But also, will they work? Right, because a lot of times magazine fed, it's we run into issues. This is the this is the the weak point. Yeah. yeah. As a matter of fact, I think we're working on some Segas that we've been working on for like five years. S Sega magazines work great. Yeah. Those it, are those it, are one of the few. Yeah. Eventually. Yeah, that needs to come that's, to light. That's like a project that keeps getting put down the put off further and further down the road. But we'll share that with you guys. So, I mean, everyone knows I'm a fan of bull pups. So, make sure it chambers. And it's ejecting here. Yeah. So, let's see. Did it, did it it doesn't seem like it chambered. I don't know that it I think your mag I think the feed is too low on the mag right now. So, grab that mag out. See how that that round is too yeah, low. Yeah, we need to probably get that Here's our first problem. Do we need it to get further back or stick up a little? You didn't put them in right, I don't think. I think they need to go further back. Hold on. They need to go behind I th that groove. Oh, so they I need think. to go down into that channel. Yeah, okay. so you think you go like that maybe? So all, uh, oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. That's how you do it. All right. Oh, and you did only have four. Oh, let's get another one. Down and back. Down. You know, I said trigger pull of Patrick, and back. not loader. Yeah, exactly. I'm the professional loader around here. Okay. You could be, you could get, I'll give you that also. I get the status of professional magazine loader. Yeah. So yeah, instead of there, all the way to the back. Push it, yeah. So you have that space for the three inch. Yeah. Give that a so try. So first lesson of that. Five so rounds. Can, so can you do the super short ones on here? The, uh, probably, probably they not. don't specify. With yeah, a magazine, we'll I would be wary. We don't have any. <laughs> I would be very wary so, of those working. We don't know. We don't know. Let's see if it chambers. Yeah, there we go. There and it, it went up. All right, it's going to be loud. Let's see. Everyone's got their eyes and ears on here. Let's see if this is even on target. And it's got a, uh, like a... Cross bolt safety. Cross bolt safety right there. Yep. So, see that? A little red sticking out. All right. Hot. Let's go. Okay. Oh, from the first one, that stuck. Yeah, that's what people so, reported. Try again. Okay, let's see if we keep getting that. Oh, that didn't go. <laughs> that's great so far. Hmm. Did that not change? No, there it was a round, I thought. Oh, no, okay. Maybe it, it didn't go in. There you go. There you go. Oh, oh. no. Nope. Uh, that didn't eject. That's in, it, I that think. That went in. It's very light ejection. Yeah. Let's try some uh, some of the heavier stuff. Yeah. Let's, Let's so try some high brass. Hand me that magazine. Okay. So stripping the mag. Yeah. Easy enough. And this mag is very greasy. And while Patrick is doing that, I'm gonna look at the instructions and see if they say anything about ammo. Oh, 
God, this oily magazine is very hard to control. Okay, they've got something <laughs> about the choke tubes. I'm, Check that out. Uses of choke tubes. All right, I'm gonna give it We've a try. We've got that, cleaning and maintenance. I don't really see ammo stuff. It could be in here. I'm just flipping right through it. I, so. There probably is. I have a feeling that thing is for changing Holes up. five, two and three quarter or three inch. Comes with two gas pistons. Piston, that's what you need. Oh, for. so that other thing is a piston. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That yeah. probably is for low brass, I bet. Ma yeah, it might be. Yeah. Uh, Does it say which is which? Here's high brass. Oh, yes. The factory is for two and three quarter. Okay. And then the extra one is for the... No. Yeah, with three inch ammunition will cause feeding cycling issues. Therefore... Um, so no, we have the correct one in. Yeah, it says gas piston with the three inch ammunition will cause feeding cycling. Yeah, issues. so this one is for three inch magnums. Okay. So it's for high pressure. Yeah, so it should be fine. Yeah. Go on. Right. I don't want yeah. you going deaf. Let's see. Let's see how it does here. Chambered. All right. Cross bolt safety is hot. It likes that high brass ammo. But that worked better, yeah. It's yeah. very painful. <laughs> <laughs> Let's load that up again uh, with high brass stuff and see, and then we'll switch back. Oof. Other than being greasy, I will say it balances pretty nicely. Yeah. Like, the balance yeah. on it is actually pretty good. Yeah. Um, but that is very painful yeah. on my we shoulder. Will, we will see if this neat, if, if this works better with the, um, with, with the high brass or not. So, um, do these mags look familiar? Is I this... think, yeah, I think it's a common Turkish magazine. I think you yeah. can get them by the That dozen. will be good, especially if they're cheap. Because what yeah. I would say right now, like you said, I would like to have more, <laughs> more capacity, <laughs> um, definitely more mags. So, yeah, you know. so get ready for this. That was not uh, fun on my shoulder. Yeah, we, <laughs> we just have one. That's what we got to do here. So we got to go through that. So let's see. All right. There we go. The chamber. All right, let's see. I don't know if these sights are on or not. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, and that stuff. Just got to rack it a little bit. Ah, that, see, that seemed, uh, that was a full, uh, a full cartridge right there. So. Yeah. And it it's empty. Rest. Dump that one in. Here. Yeah, it definitely, uh, it's got some kick. Can you, can you just drop it in the Should chamber? Be. Should be able yeah. to I'll get past the... There we go. Drop it in, and then can you, how do you close the bolt? You gotta, does it have a bolt close mechanism? I, I think don't put think the it. magazine in. Yeah, so now close the bolt. Yeah. There we there go. go. Try it. All right, let's see if I can get this thing to come back down. <laughs> the high brass works pretty well. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, we're just gonna shoot this it's a bunch more, and then we'll come back and tell you guys what we think about it. Let's try some uh, low brass. I expect issues, personally. Yeah, see how that weak that ejection is? Oh, oh yeah. You ran into something there. Okay. It does not like low brass. Yeah. The ejection, it may, the spring may work itself in in time. But yeah, I would expect to shoot this with uh, high brass to begin with. And everything is greasy! God! Everything is oily and it's just everywhere. Yeah, let me wipe it with my shirt. I did already, it just doesn't help. And, and then it doesn't help that we're sweating yeah, out. Yeah, it was, I'm, I've got oil everywhere on me right now. All of that, but uh, so, all right, let me, let me try loading it up. High brass. Let's see if I can load it. With the it's not bad, brass. it's not too bad. Come on over, Lola. Let's see if I could do this. Here we go. By the way, this high brass stuff I actually got from Brownells as well. Back, oh, yeah. Yeah. you know, back when Brownells had it. So we need to go down and then push there it is. like that. Oh, okay, down, right there. Oh. Straight back. No, 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 not yeah. Past that notch. No, you don't have to. No. Nope. Because that now you can't get it. Oh. It's in front of that notch. Here, let me have it. Hold on. Pull that shell out. There you go. Now down and back. Now back. 
Oh, I see. It's just got to hit the feet. Yeah, you don't want to go down too far. Yep. There you go. I see what it is. Okay. Yeah. You don't want to go down too far, and then it sits in that notch. If you were using oh, cool. only high brass, military buck, military, uh, like double odd or four, mm -hmm. four odd buck, I probably, it'd probably run really well. It's just, we're cheap. Most of us Americans like shooting yeah. cheap ass And slugs shot. might be really good too. Slugs would probably work great. Because they're heavier. Anything that's got oomph would yeah, probably work. Yeah, but I just have to say, I've seen like super expensive magazine fed guns, bullpup or not. Yeah. And they have feeding issues. So it's, it's like a beautiful dream. Having a perfect... Yeah, but I mean, this is why a... pump action. Like, everyone says, well, how come this is not semi-auto or that is not semi-auto? This is There's a big difference in the amount of powder in these two. Like, there's mm -hmm. a big charge difference. So, do you want to... So, a gun, high brass means more powder. More powder, more pressure, more yeah. everything. And you can tell when it fires, it's... Also more money. Coming back, yeah. <laughs> and it's ejecting that brass yeah. nice and forward. Where this stuff, it's kind of like pooping it out. This is always a thing. Like, we have yes. seen some very expensive magazine fed shotguns and this is always the, the thing. only one i have that will feed everything is my benelli m4 and that's tube fed it's a tube magazine but it's it's tube fed semi-auto semi-auto and it's piston driven not just blow yeah back. yeah that's the only but again that's like a 1500 dollars shotgun yeah, versus expensive. a 300 so, shotgun just the way it goes with this stuff yeah, i mean no, i know people might make it look different to you guys but you know we don't even have the technology to fudge the differences here. You're saying we don't even have the technology. Yeah, we don't have the technology to, to cheat people. Yeah. <laughs> to make it look awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it's just not there. We also don't have the time for that. So this is what it is, man. You know, it is what it is. Let's see if I could get like a full thing out here. You guys ready? All right, let's see if we could do this. That was a good one. High brass, I'm telling you, the high brass looks great. It just yeah. kills you. Do you five? want to shoot one more time? I'll shoot another three. Is okay. that five? Huh? Is that five right? It should have been. Yeah, that was five. Okay. Yeah, it should have been five. Yeah, it is greasy, the whole gun. It's, it's, <laughs> high brass is not comfortable I'll try to, to shoot. I'll rub it on my oh shirt. My gosh, oh, God, I know. Uh, okay, sorry. Sure, it's brought to you by Wather. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, Walter Defense. Yeah, you can check that out, Lola. Check out that awesome. What does it say? Walter Defense. Or uh, Liberty Suppressors, one of the two. Yeah. You pick. Shirts brought to you by. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> grease wiping. Is Gre yeah, my by. grease rag. Bye. By the way, Walter Arms sponsors the podcast that both Babyface and myself are on, the Who Move My Freedom podcast. You guys can find that on the Who Move My Freedom channel on YouTube. And, by the way, a lot of videos that I'm putting up here on the main channel on YouTube are getting taken down. We've taken down half of our videos. And people are like, are you guys even posting videos anymore? We are. So guess where I'm putting mine? Where? Strangerholics. So a whole new YouTube channel called Strangerholics, if you search for it. <laughs> that's where, that's, it's taking us time, but we're getting videos up there when we can. All right. It's not, it's not monetized or anything. Coming so. around for the last five Hold rounds. on, let me, wait, wait, wait. I want to get a video of this. Might as well get some slow-mo. It is not easy to unload. Oh, God. And I hit the button. To, so let's pull back. It's harder when it's all greasy. Yeah. God, it's very difficult when it's greasy. Oh, this, Screw is, it. this is comedy gold. Screw it. Magazine in. Oh, you're not going to keep going? No, God. In. Rapid fire? Okay, come on. Do it. Do it. Three, two, one. Oh my god. Did you get the last one? Out? Oh, I did. Was that five? That was five. <laughs> that is not comfortable at it's all. Not it works. <laughs> it functions. But that, I'm going to have a bruise. So, we're going to wrap this up right now. We're going to go sit down over here on the bench <laughs> and we'll wrap it up. Come on. Yeah. Right. So, um, you know, before we get any chance here to like compare notes or anything, I would say, now I don't know what differences. Century Arms has done to their Centurion versus what other people do. And I know this is like a little bit more expensive if you get it from Brownells, right? And I think Walter was telling us he found one for 300 bucks, a different one. I've seen them on other websites for about 300. Like yes. Go on sale. Labor but, Day sale, I think somebody had one for that. So here's what I would say about this. It's to me no different from a lot of, um, of other 12 gauge magazine fed 
semi-autos that I've seen, except it is a little bit more affordable. Like the, so, I and I like how this looks. So I kind of yeah. like it. You know, you you have to use high brass. I don't think it really likes the low brass, and it's like no, it's not going to run it, yeah. everything. So it is so, a bit finicky on yeah. ammo. If you're willing to spend, like, how much more expensive is high brass typically? I haven't like, bought shotgun ammo in so long. I'm not really yeah. even sure. Yeah, we have to compare. Yeah, um, we have to see what that yeah. the bird rounds cost difference. Yeah. Like, I'll like, try to look that up and let you guys know, or you could just look it up yourselves. You guys probably know all of that stuff changes. Yeah, high brass does cost a little bit more. I'll tell you that. Yep. Versus your like your Walmart stuff. So f per box, you're probably going to pay like five bucks or ten bucks more or something yeah. like that. But um, it works. Yeah. With the high brass? Yeah. Very uncomfortable to shoot. <laughs> it's 12 gauge. I mean, yeah. it's a short little 12 gauge. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it. Functions. 20 gauge with that would be so much fun. 20, 410. Oh. Or 410, little tiny 410s. Yeah. 20 gauge or 410s would be awesome. Yeah, this. actually, yeah. Some uh, 410s. Wow. Would be pretty cool. Yeah, you could probably get a bigger magazine. Oh, you yeah. could get a, like 12, 15 yeah. rounds. Yeah. Think on that, turkey. Yeah. I'm liking how it's looking. Yeah. Yep. Um, You know. What, what's the downsides of it, I would say? The brass, definitely, that it needs a specific kind of brass downside. Um, yeah, that's a downside. Magazine. Uh, magazines, I, from what I understand, are available. Oh, they are bigger ones. I believe ones. they okay. are available. Okay, you cool. can get tens. I don't know about drums, but I do believe mm. you can buy these right now, regularly, for decent prices. They're not yeah. over expensive. Is this, can we get this off here? It looks like everything has screws. It's Lola, I don't know if you I, want to come in closer there. I think it's there. just screwed in. Is that good or bad that we've got? just looks like a flat head it's just plastic i mean it's fine right yeah th th none of this here is doing really the matters. work yeah this is what does all the heavy lifting yeah this is just kind of a again like i said earlier i think this here mm -hmm. is this action is like a known product with mm -hmm. this magazine mm -hmm. and then the comp different companies can throw whatever however they want to do it yeah and the polymer on this seems good because so whatever they use here uh, to me seems good right I, yeah it's nice and stiff yeah um, um, the magazine, yeah, the seam lines are fine. Magazine's good. The buttstock has, it has a pad on it, but the pad is just about <laughs> plastic. Yeah, that's that, not, There's no uh, give not on that Not a lot of give on that. There is a sling loop here. Yeah. And you then I, a, I noticed you got a little bit of a rail here. Yeah, you put a light. Yeah. You could always put a light on the front if you needed. Yeah. Um, um, and the fact that you've got chokes is good. Yeah. And then I guess right here you would change that. You can change out the gas piston. I if you want think to. so. If you have to put in uh, three quarter, if you're using yeah. three inch, I think you change the gas out. Yeah. You know, I I came into this. So like, tell tell me, do you think, would you buy this? I, I know you. You're gonna say you're gonna look for the better price if you did, right? Yeah. But would that, you buy my, one of that's these? That's my thing. Is I would buy. Or would you not want the bullpup one? I know you're not necessarily a big bullpup guy. It depends on the situ. I, I would own it. I would own mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. um, depends on price. Okay. The bullpup doesn't bother me. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know that it fits. I've kind of gotten to now to where I have most of my niches filled. Okay. So now I can buy crazy stuff. This okay. would fit into that category for me. So this isn't crazy. This is not like home defense or anything. I ha remember, I have a Benelli M4. <laughs> I have Benelli M4. I love how he just. There's a there's a big difference. Yeah, I am a that, Benelli guy. You can get four of these. Let me let me fix my bow tie. On sale, you can get four or five of these <laughs> for, for the price of that Benelli. Yeah. I could you could but stash. But they're great. Benelli's are great. But you could stash so. four of these around your house for the price of yeah. Benelli. That, that's a that's a takeaway. I right. mean, um, if you're shooting uh, buck double ot or uh, four ot buck mm -hmm. or high brass or, or slugs, mm -hmm. I think this thing's gonna work fine. I'm yeah. very I'm very surprised. I. I just worry that the person who's going to try to get this, like who's buying something in a three hundred dollar, you're going to shoot cheap five hundred. Yeah, they're going to want to do cheaper stuff. You're not going to want to shoot. Good that stuff. would be my only caution to yeah. you, though. You're going to want to get. I don't think you're going to have. We've just tried so many. We've done this. Yeah. In the past, they and all it's do, it's all the same. I hate to yeah, say it's it, not. But when you, anything sub five hundred and semi auto in a shotgun, typically runs really well on mm -hmm. high brass and finicky on low brass we need to finish that that sega project that we're doing and see if have, what have you heard Segas about that will run everything they'll run everything yes. yeah so and uh, segas also have a lot of parts interchangeability mm -hmm. so if you were running specifically low brass you mm -hmm. probably could get a separate spring that's lighter yeah but what i would like to do is see if we could put a 12 gauge suppressor on here like the silencer co has the it uh, might give you a little more back pressure so it might work yeah it, it's and hard to i wonder know. if that would work with uh low brass or not it might better yeah we could always try yeah we yeah. could see that okay that's it there you i go. think i don't think you guys need to know any more um there might be some different colors and stuff like that in this i'll keep this for green. a while here mess around with it if green. it comes in green i always say green is the best color 
Yeah. Odie Green is my favorite. Yeah. I agree. I agree with that. <laughs> Stand flat, dark earth. Yes. You know, black's uh, kind of eh, it's third. Everyone's got black guns, yeah. you know, yeah. uh, but black guns are awesome. You know, can't <laughs> knock that either. Okay, so that's basically it. Make sure you guys go check out Babyface P on YouTube. Uh, he's got lots of stuff going up. I think you got Always some something going some on. cool things here. We're doing some stuff together as well. Big thanks to Lola coming out and hanging out with us on the it's, range. It's hot. It's sweaty. Yeah, it's sticky. Dude, out. we're in. We are in September, and we have a storm brewing, and it's yeah. ninety-five percent humidity. Yes. Uh, oh, and big thanks <laughs> to Brownells. We yeah. are all BOP. Yep. Uh, we'll throw some BOP stuff out here just now in a second. I'll put something here. But we're all BOP guys, so big thanks to them for helping us out and hooking us up. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, and all that kind of stuff. Very important right now with everything, with us being shadow banned or whatever else is going on uh, with the channel. Appreciate everyone. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.